Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today, people, have, a lot of people have been asking me when they've watched the video for the Z5 is, is it worth getting the F11? Is the camera the same? What's the difference between both? So I'm going to do a quick overview and leave you some flight footage at the end so you can see the difference in the cameras, which is negligible to be honest. Still open both drones out. So let me start by saying I love both of these drones. I have no issue with either of them. I love the Z5. I think it's a fantastic drone for the money. And if you've seen my video for the F11, I can't get over how nice this thing flies. So, so the, obvious, the massive difference between both of them is this one's got brushless motors, this one's got brushed. Brushed motors wear out, they don't have the same power output, and they don't have the same smoothness in the air. There's a massive difference in size, build quality, there's no denying that this is much better made. This has got steel inserts in the joints here. It's very, very nicely made. And this is what you'd expect. It's got plastic. It's just got plastic. There's no steel inserts in the joints because it's made to be lighter because it is a brush drum. The cameras on both are exactly the same in my opinion. I can't really see a difference. If you do notice a difference in the video, it's probably because of the way this thing flies a little bit more stable because it's got brushless motors. But they've both got 1080p camera and they're both 5G. The app is identical on both. You just select which one you've got. The controllers are identical. So they both have the same controller. One black, one white, obviously. Both of these have fake antennas. I've seen other videos saying that they're not. I've taken the top off these. Trust me, there's no wire in either of these. These both have fake antennas. So from that point of view, they're very, very similar. Obviously the form factor, this one's a lot smaller. As you can see, there's quite a big difference in size. There's around £40 difference in prices I've checked this morning. So this is 40 quid more than this one. To me, I'd buy this all day long over this one because I like the fact this has got bushless motors. The stability of this thing's a little bit better than this. But like I say, I love them both. This is a fantastic drone for the money. Do not get me wrong. This is an amazing drone. And if that's the limit you want to spend, you'll be more than happy if you buy this drone. Absolutely. But this thing blew me away. Now, the reason I've also gone for this, this is going to be much better at carrying a bit of weight. So I'm going to do another video very shortly with a Runcam S3 on the, 3S on the top of this. And I'll also do one with a GoPro on top of it. So you can see it'll carry both easily. If you see the Runcam... 3S, they're heavier than the GoPro, but this thing will lift it no problem. And, and it, this, this will also lift it. I've tried lifting this, it lifts fine, but I'd imagine when you get to some kind of altitude, you might have an issue. But I'll do the same with this as well. But that'll be at a later point. This is the one I want to do next because a lot of people have asked me to put a different camera on. So I'd love to see what this would be like. If they could make this with a three axis or even a two axis semi stabilized gimbal. So two axis mechanical, the third axis being EIS, this would be an amazing drone. It really would. The build quality is exceptional for what is still a toy grade drone. And if you put optical flow on it would be even better. But the Xeno has not got optical flow and neither has the Femi A3 which was reviewed. From the point of view of this one, and I knew we reviewed this a couple of, not that long ago, a week or so ago now. and. It really did blow. I had a feeling it'd fly well because I'd flown this one first. I bought that one first. I had this one, loved it so much, I went and bought this one. I wasn't going to bother, but I'd seen JD Quad's review of it and he loved it, so I went and bought one. And it did blow me away. So very much, it's up to you. It's a fact of how much you can afford to spend. If £80 your limit, you'll be more than happy with this drone. If you can stretch, I'd buy that. Because at this money, for £120... I don't think there's much in the ballpark to compare this to that flies as well as this one for 120 quid. This one, you've got quite a few brush drones in the market at this kind of price point. I'll have a video shortly where I'll compare this, as I always do to everything brushed with a 1080p camera. I'm going to compare this to the Vizio XS812, which in my opinion is the best brush drone. So let's compare this with it and see what I think. But yeah, you're more than happy with both. 
if you can afford go for this one if not stick with that one I'll leave you with some flight footage so you can see I'll do a split screen so you can see and I'll label them up but there isn't that much of a difference thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day Thank you.